Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It is Christian here. Thank you so much for joining me today. So today we're going to be doing a massive Ulta haul. I am so sorry for all of the hauls you guys that I've been posting. I know that I just started posting videos again recently and all of my videos have pretty much been hauls. Um, that of course is going to change, but between the Sephora VIB sale, Ulta's 21 Days of Beauty and everything that I just picked up along the way, we've got a lot to talk about and we've got a lot to haul. Now this haul video will be a little bit different than some of my other haul videos and the fact that I have tried some of these products out. A lot of them are repurchases because of Ulta's 21 Days of Beauty and some of them are just super new and I'm super excited about them. This is going to be like one of my OG massive long makeup hauls. So get a snack, get comfy, get cozy. I'm not breaking this down into multiple videos. We're just going to talk about it all right now. So hauls are just like, hauls are me. They're like they're who I am, you know what I mean? Like they're my favorite things to film, they're my favorite things to talk about, they're my favorite part of makeup in general, just buying and getting excited about new products. So yeah, you guys, don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below, this is gonna be long, so let's just go ahead and get started. The first thing that I'm gonna go ahead and talk about it, and I actually wore this yesterday. I've actually worn this several times, because, several times because I have a lot of reviews coming up on palettes, and I wanted to start testing them out because I knew that it was gonna take me a while to get all of my haul videos up. The palette, the first thing that I picked up from Ulta is the Dominique Cosmetics palette, and this is the Latte palette. Now, I actually, without giving too much away, because I am gonna be talking about this in an upcoming review, I actually love this palette. I was not gonna purchase it originally, the reason why I ended up picking it up is because I had um, um, I had a lot of points. I think I had like $150 worth of points or something crazy like that that I had been saving. And I decided to go ahead and pick this up and a couple of other things. Now, I think she knocked it out of the park. I like the packaging. I like the formulation. I like the color selection. Um, and like I said, I have used this. And like I said, I have used this quite a few times. Um, it has been one of my go-to reach for really love palettes. You get seven mattes in here. You get three um, more shimmer metallic -y shades and they are beautiful. I think that she selected the perfect shades. I think that they all go super well together. I have really, really been enjoying this palette. Um, they just, they're nice size, good price. Um, like I said, I don't want to go too into too much detail, but here you go. Here are the shades right here. It's like a perfect warm tone, neutrally palette with a couple of pops of color. The shades that are shimmer are meant to be shimmer. Like it's perfect. Like, let me go ahead and swatch a couple for you. They feel so good on the skin. Like they're so smooth. I just, I don't know. I have really, I honestly, I'm not going to lie. I didn't have high hopes for this palette. If I'm going to be completely honest, I really didn't. Um, but now I'm just obsessed. I love it so much. There are, the mattes are creamy and buttery and smooth. I definitely think that if you were on the fence about it or unsure about it because of it being a YouTuber brand and being the first release, I think it's good, you guys. I definitely think it's worth it. This is my box. So as you can see, this box is pretty full. Most of this stuff I didn't get during Ulta's 21 Days of Beauty, but there are a couple of products that I have been hoarding and hanging on to for quite a while. The next thing that I did pick up, and this is actually the palette that I am wearing on my eyes today, this is the Too Faced Natural Matte Palette. It is a reformulated version or a repackaged version of an existing palette in their range. I did not own the original. I have heard some people say that they actually think that the formulation of the originals are better or they made small tweaks to this palette and they do prefer the original. I didn't own the original, so I definitely can't speak to that but I can speak to the fact that this packaging is beautiful. It is classic. It is very sleek. Um, it's just, it's well-made. I mean, Too Faced, you know, granted, no matter how gimmicky they, no matter how gimmicky they can be, when it comes down to just quality products and them just sticking with what they know, they do a fantastic job. This is what the packaging looks like. This is not the one that I intended to get. I actually intended to get the one that had a little bit of a couple of shimmer shades in there as well, but I ended up with just the matte one, which is okay for me because I actually have been wearing a lot of more matte looks recently. So I have actually been enjoying this palette. I think it blends really well. Well, I think you get, you know, a nice variety of cool, warm, and your neutral shades, and they basically break it down in the palette like that for you. You're cool, you're neutral and your um, warm tone. I love them all. Of course, I typically use a little bit more of the warm tone side um, in the day to day, but I actually made, did a cool look the other day and I actually loved, 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 loved the way that it turned out. You get nine uh, shades in here. Of course, they are all shimmer. And like I mentioned, the packaging is just to die for. 
it's super weighted like it has a really good weight it has a really good clasp it has a nice nice mirror um, I've been impressed like I like it of course Too Faced is one of those brands that recently have been very hit and miss but again I have been loving this that was a couple of the shades swatched and like I mentioned I have been reaching for that a ton um, now another palette that I've had for a while and I have also played with and will be doing a review on as well I know there's a lot of palettes I lost the actual carton like the unicarton for this I have no idea what happened to it I typically like to save them and keep them I don't too often throw them away but this one grew legs and walked away this is a lime crime Venus XL palette now I know that lime crime is a very controversial brand they are you know have a very controversial owner and I didn't feel comfortable ever purchasing and I'll admit I have always wanted to try things from Lime Crime but I'd never felt comfortable purchasing directly from their site because I've heard about all the breaches and things like that and but whenever they started being carried on Ulta I was like you know what I'm gonna go ahead and give them a shot and this is what the packaging looks like and I know that they are just releasing a new um a new version um, of the Venus 3 and I actually wanted I've always wanted to purchase the Venus 1 I never have but I think I might actually pick that up this is what it looks like on the inside now I have seen some people say that it's kind of reminiscent of you know the modern renaissance palette the Jeffree Star blood sugar palette like all of those you know just a bunch of different I think I've heard I've heard so many different things I think I've heard the uh, Lila palette by um, by Natasha Denona but I feel like at some point like what what can you do with an eyeshadow palette I think that it has you know what I mean like you can only do so much before stuff just kind of starts being repetitive but anyways I honestly think that this is a good variety palette you get 18 shades in here I retail for 52 54 dollars I believe you get a good variety of mattes you get a good variety of your shimmers you kind of have a couple of um, mattes that have like micro glitters in them but then they kind of perform more like a matte on the eye this can go neutral this can go very pink this can go mauve -y. I actually have enjoyed it I've used this palette probably I'd say a good six or seven times by now and every time I have created a look I have actually really really enjoyed it there was one day where I created a look and I intended for it to go purple because I was going to work and I wanted to be a little bit more purple and then it ended up being a little bit more pink than I would have liked but that was more me I guess the, the way I paired the colors together um, they have the right amount of nice deeps they have a nice amount of you know you have your brow bone highlight you have some really good transition shades you've got some more fun colors for spring I don't know I think that this is a really nice palette let's go ahead and give it a swatch we're just gonna swatch these colors right here cuz that's kind of where I'm looking right now so that's a couple of them swatched without going into too much of a review some of them do feel a little bit drier in the pan but they I haven't had any issues blending or using any of those palettes uh, or any of the shades that I have used from the palette which is pretty much all of them at this point let's take a break from palettes for a second and let's go ahead and talk about some of the other things that I picked up now I picked these up during Ulta 21 days of beauty these are repurchases I decided to go ahead and pick up two of the Mac fix pluses now when it comes to the Ulta 21 days of beauty typically things that I know that I love I will buy multiples of two three four it doesn't matter because I know that I'm gonna use it I know that I'm gonna go through them so why not get them at the excellent discount of up to 50% off I want to say that these were 50% off I believe they were maybe like 1050 I think um, so I decided to go ahead and pick up two I was gonna pick up a third but the reason why I didn't I'll show you in just a second and of course by now you already know what max fix plus looks like um, it's just a staple it's one of those things that you just I feel like you have to have max fix plus is just one of those staple items for me I use it all of the time I actually had been out of it for a little bit I saw that it was gonna be on Ulta's 21 days of beauty it was on the last day of the sale so I hung in there to get my little extra 50% off and I decided to go ahead and pick up a second one so it's basically like getting one for free which makes total sense in my head the reason why I decided to go ahead and purchase only two of the standard fix pluses is because Mac recently came out with fix plus um, fix plus pink light and I believe that this is basically just fix plus with pink glitter in it essentially I know um, but I think it was the same price if I'm not mistaken maybe a dollar or two more and this is what it looks like so you can definitely see let me grab a standard fix plus so this is your regular fix plus and this is what the fix plus um, with a little bit of the I guess 
glitter or shimmer or whatever. I'm, I'm not exactly sure what it is in here, but I do think it's like a form of glitter. And then you just kind of shake it up. You can kind of hear the little ball in there kind of getting the product worked up. And it just looks really pretty. Can you guys see that? I definitely think it's going to be perfect for summertime to give you that little extra bit of a glow to kind of give you that little extra hint of something something on your skin i don't think it's going to be anything overpowering i don't think that it's going to be you know like the cover effects one which i personally really like but the cover effects if you do get a little too close to your skin the illuminating one you will see like flecks of glitter on the skin i don't think that that is going to be an issue with this i think that this is just going to be a super fine mist that's just going to give you a little bit of a sheen and I cannot wait to test it out. I know I'm gonna like it because I highly doubt that the formulation is that different. I'm pretty sure that they literally just put some glitter eyeshadow in here and called it good. Being the makeup junkie that I am and the makeup lover that I am, it's something new. Like I've mentioned before, MAC being sold at Ulta now makes it a lot easier for me to purchase MAC products because I don't frequent MAC stores very often. I used to be obsessed with MAC. That used to be the only makeup that I wore. And then I discovered Sephora, y'all, and then it's just, my life has never been the same. Moving on to a couple more repurchases. I always pick up a couple of these during Ulta's 21 Days of Beauty as well. This is the Purity Made Simple One Step Facial Cleansing Cloth. Now, I love these, especially on days where my skin is feeling a little bit more um, sensitive. I definitely like using these, or on days, I know I'm going to say it, I shouldn't say it, but on days when I'm just so tired, like so, so tired, and I just want to take my makeup off and I don't want to go through my whole routine, I will just slap one of these babies on my face. I'll call it good essentially. I'll just be like, you know, I'll make up for it the next day with some exfoliation and some masks and things like that. It doesn't break me out. It has the right amount of moisture. It gets, it does a pretty good job of getting all of the makeup off. Um, it's not a makeup remover, um, cause there is a difference between makeup remover like pads like this and then cleansing cloths. So like, so I will at times use this to remove my makeup, but for the most part, I will save this for days. Like I'll throw it in a gym bag and you know, when I leave the gym, if I have to run a couple of more errands or something like that, and I don't have time to go home and shower, I'll throw stuff like this in my gym bag so I can at least clean off my face. And I really like them. Um, regular price, I'd never buy these regular price because they're like 15 bucks for, how many? How many do you get for 30 towelettes, which is kind of expensive, but at the discount, I always feel a little bit better going ahead and stocking up on a few of these. Uh, another repurchase, which is, in my opinion, the best and only time to buy Anastasia Bra Wizzes, like Sephora VIB sale, forget about it, like any other time, the best time to buy Anastasia Bra Wizzes is during Ulta's 21 Days of Beauty. We love Anastasia Bra Wizzes. They work, they're tried and true. They are no longer my favorites. The benefit precisely my brow is actually my favorite. But during Ulta's 21 Days of Beauty, they are on sale for $10.50. So I usually will stock up on three or four. I purchased four, but I already used one. Um, and it's somewhere around here. I always pick mine up in the shade Soft Brown. So this is the standard pencil. You get your spoolie on one side, and then you get, of course, your microfine brow pencil on the other side. Now, I have recently been picking up a couple of new brow products to me that you'll see in my Sephora haul. I definitely wanna test out. Um, I think that's just the makeup lover, the makeup junkie in all of us. Like you find the things that you love, but then you wanna find the thing that you're gonna love even more than the thing that you love. So like your quest never ends. But I mean, this is a tried and true, especially for a discount. Pretty much nowadays, the only time I buy Anastasia Brow Wizzes are doing Ulta 21 Days of Beauty. I don't buy them full price. I'll buy the Benefit Precisely My Brow full price. Um, I won't buy these full price anymore because they're no longer my favorite, but they're still good enough to buy. I know that makes no sense, but I feel like it makes sense, you know? My box is all wonky. Another repurchase, like I played no games during Ulta 21 Days of Beauty. It is the best time to stock up, especially if you have your favorites. It is the best time to stock up on favorites. You're gonna buy it, you're gonna go through it anyway. Why not just stock up and be done with it? Um, I purchased three of the Smashbox Primer Waters. I always purchase these during Ulta 21 Days of Beauty. It looks like they changed the packaging. I actually ordered these two online and I picked this one up in store. So I guess the packaging has changed, um, but the actual product itself is still the same. Um, I do wanna try out one of the scented ones, the ones that are in collaboration with Nicole Concilio, but y'all, yeah, it pains me. Like I have three right here that I got for half price. I don't wanna spend full price on one just because it has a little bit of a scent in it. I know that's just me, that's my cheap side coming out, but um, I always love a good deal. I have sworn by this. I talk about this all the time. At this point, because I don't buy them often, but at this point, because of how many that I purchased during Ulta 21 Days of Beauty, 
This is probably one of my most repurchased items at this point because I always buy three, four at a time. And like this will last me, I usually go through one of these every other month. So this will last me until the next Ulta 21 Days of Beauty probably. Um, Cause I do two a year and this is always, always one of their uh, sale item days. This is always there somewhere. And it's a good primer. Like I've mentioned in the past, I never use this on its own. I always use this in conjunction with another primer, um, like a pore filling primer, but this is a really great refresher. I actually keep a travel size in my purse. So if my makeup is feeling a little too dry or my skin is feeling a little bit too dry, I will go in with one of these and I just love it. I swear by it. I was, I was skeptical at first, but then when I actually started using it, I was like, oh my gosh, my life has changed. It just feels so good on the skin. It helps your makeup glide easier. I really, really love that product um holy cow i have a lot of stuff so this you guys probably don't care about i actually purchased four of these but two of them are already in my bathroom and i didn't want to grab them but i decided to go ahead and purchase some of the dr teal's epsom salt i used to just buy the epsom salt from like agb the just non-scented non-anything epsom salt just to help with aches and pains but i hear so many people always talking about this being the best they went on sale for buy one, get one 50% off. So that's why I picked up four of them. Um, this is the Epsom salt in the coconut oil to nourish and protect. Oh, both of these are coconut oil. The two in my bathroom are actually different. I think one of them is like uh, eucalyptic, eucalyptus. And I don't know what the other one is. Um, I was in desperate need of just a really good Epsom salt. Guys probably don't know. I did start kick. I did start doing a boxing and kickboxing and things like that. So my joints and my muscles are always sore they're always hurt and you know i'm not really a bath person but there are certain days i usually do the kickboxing class three times a week but if i can do it four i will do it four and there are just days like today it was a lot of kicks and a lot of just intense just like running and just it was a lot so like you know tonight when i get home because i'll go i'm gonna go to the gym again tonight i'll kind of do an epsom salt bath and just let my muscles soak and that has actually been really nice it has a really good smell it evaporates into the your bath water really really easily so i actually have been enjoying those i know that that was a little bit boring and nobody cares about my bath time but i'm telling you if you've got sore muscles like people who say that that is the best i definitely agree i have been enjoying that epsom salt moving on the next thing that i picked up i saw a lot of people pick this up during sephora uh, bib sale but i actually purchased this from ulta before the bib sale i wish i had gotten 15 percent off but it's okay so uh, this is the becca hydra mist set and refresh powder and this is the packaging and i know by now you've seen it a hundred times but i'm special because i bought it from ulta and everybody else bought it from sephora but this is what the actual packaging itself looks like now i've seen a lot of people talk about like do this put this powder in first impressions and put this powder in like separate reviews i actually want to review this powder the new mark jacobs powder and the new um, hourglass powder like i'm going to do a head-to-head -head video on all three of those um you'll be seeing those probably in my sephora haul at some point as it's supposed to be i believe it's made of 50 percent of water and it's supposed to be like give you a very cooling almost wet feel to the skin and i have not tried this yet um the only thing that i've tried in here of course are the repurchases and um uh, the eyeshadow palettes everything else i don't think i've tried and it's supposed to it's supposed to be i believe translucent but it definitely looks like it has a little bit of a color in here almost like a peachy toned color and how much product do you get in here so you guys will know 0.35 ounces of product and it lasts for they said that it's good for six months aren't most powders good for 12 i don't know let me see i have a powder here yeah my Too Faced born this way is 12. um let me look at my kat von d powder my kat von d powder is also 12 so i think it's a little interesting that this powder is only good for six months that might be have something to do with the fact that it's 50 percent water but anyways, it says ultra an ultra translucent refreshing powder that dusts on like a mist and sets makeup to help extend wear. This weightless powder sets, perfects, and refreshes makeup for a silky smooth, invisible finish. Formulated with 50% water, this powder makes skin look awakened and fresh upon application. Apply throughout the day to refresh and rejuvenate makeup. Ideal for all skin tones. Yes. So I have heard, I would think that by reading the, like reading the description that this would be a little bit more of like a dewy, more hydrating um, powder, but more of like a luminous finish powder. But I have heard that this definitely will go matte. Like it will be a matte finish on the skin, which I have actually been preferring because my skin has now started to lean a little bit more oily. I have like my dry patches here and there um, most days, but usually with a little bit of oil and an exfoliation, I can usually get rid of the dry powder. So I've definitely been enjoying matte foundations and more matte powders recently. 
Let me know in the comments below what you think about the head to head video for the three powders. I picked those three powders because those are the powders that everybody's kind of talking about right now. They're exciting, they're fun, they're new. Um, and I thought it would be kind of fun, you know, because they're similar price points. And I just thought it would be kind of fun instead of doing dedicated videos to like powders, like one powder, it would be fun to kind of talk about them all in one video. And that'll be a little bit easier for me too, especially because my filming schedule isn't the best right now. But anyways, moving on. I'm talking faster and faster because I actually have somewhere to uh, be in a little bit, but I did want to film. So the next thing that I picked up, I decided to go ahead and pick up another Lime Crime item. This is a highlighting palette and this is the Opals. And she, I want to say that they have, Lime Crime has maybe three or four of these particular palettes. I want to say that the Opals one is the most popular or the most like wearable, I should say. And this is the packaging. And I want to say that this was $19 during Ulta's 21 Days of Beauty. It's actually kind of weighty. Um, I feel like it has a little bit of unnecessary, like, bulky packaging, kind of. I don't know. That might just be me. But you get three highlighters in here. You get pink, gold, and peach. They decided to just keep it, keep it simple. We don't need the fancy, the fancy geode and all that. You get a pink, you get a gold, you know? I like it. It's, it's simple and it's easy. Ooh, these feel nice. So that's the shade peach and I think these might be maybe duochrome that's the shade gold these have definitely got to be duochrome and that was the shade pink okay they might not be as wearable as I thought they would be very similar to the Anastasia um, the Aurora the Aurora palette and what was the other one um, the Moonchild palette I'm getting those kind of vibes so we'll play with it we'll test it out um, again, I've always been very curious about Lime Crime. I just never wanted to purchase directly from their site. I mean, they definitely do feel a little bit powdery. I mean, they're definitely, they're pretty colors. I don't know. What do you guys think? I mean, I guess the only one I would consider not to be wearable is the yellow. There doesn't appear to be any like glitter. It just seems like it would be like a really pretty multi-dimensional sheeny situation happening on your face. Now, the next thing that I picked up, I actually have already purchased in the past. And then I decided that I didn't like it, so I actually gave it away to a friend who was looking for a contour palette. And since I had so many and I wasn't really like wowed by it, I decided to go ahead and give it away. But then I saw it for 50% off and because I'm crazy and obsessed with makeup, I suppose, that I rebought it, I don't know. This is the Urban Decay Naked Skin. This went for 50% off during Ulta 21 Days of Beauty, of course. I got mine in the shade Light Medium. Now, I'm decided to go ahead and give it another chance because I only tried it that one time when I did the collaboration with Cotton here on YouTube, and I wasn't the biggest fan of it, but I actually have heard so many people talk about it and rave about it. Um, not really so much anymore, but like when it first came out, a lot of people were talking about it. And I decided to go ahead and give it another chance, especially for 50% off. I know that that seems so silly, but you know, you can't, you can't, don't, just don't judge me guys. Please just don't judge me. So you get your powder side, which has um, all, it looks like three mattes and then a highlighter. So you get the highlighter for the cheekbones, which I actually did like. You get like your under eye setting powder and then you get more of like your contour and your bronzers. And on the other side, you get your color correctors and your more um, cream products. So a cream bronzer and then a cream under eye kind of situation. I don't really do too much of the cream under eye. I will cream bronze every once in a while and I do enjoy color correcting. So I'm gonna give this another go. And maybe because I spent less money on it, I'll like it more this time. I don't know you guys. I don't know, it makes no sense. I really so badly wanna pick up that Smashbox contour palette, but I'm like, how many contour palettes does a person need? Let me know down below if you would be interested in hearing some stuff like a review on the contour palette from Smashbox because I really, really want to get that. I really do. And it's actually one of the more affordable contour palettes on the market right now. Um, from high end, I guess I should say. So we are almost, almost done. I told you that you guys that this was going to be long and kind of like intense and I wasn't kidding. Now this I actually picked up a long time ago, like before I got even got sick. I just never got around to hauling it. Um, and the reason why I picked this up is because I had the plans of doing um, a video where we like a video series where we compare first edition palettes to second edition palettes. Which one's better? Are they both equally good? Is one really crappy? You know, are they just kind of trying to ride the gravy train? I decided I came up with that idea around the time that Too Faced decided to release the white peach palette um, because I've heard a lot of not good things about the white peach palette but everybody has really been loving the love the original 
So I decided to go ahead and pick this guy up because I wanted to, you know, do this for that video for the Tarte palette as well. I picked this one up because I do have the original Clay Play and this is the Clay Play 2. Like I was supposed to start filming those videos a long time ago and I just never got around to it. Um, but let me know if you guys would still be interested in that. I don't know if that's something that people are already doing. I'm sure it exists. Um, but where you just do a, di a whole series talking about, you know, the first palette and then the second palette release. Are they too, I, are they too similar? Um, are there enough differences that they change the formulation? Do you need both? I just kind of thought that the, oh my gosh, they, it's literally the same packaging. Like, are they serious? It's the same packaging. They couldn't even create different packaging. I actually kind of don't like that at all. Um, that's no fun. It has the exact same layout as the original i don't need that plastic the difference is this one comes with a blush and a highlighter and a couple of shimmer shades and whereas the original smells like chocolate whereas the original was all matte shades and i actually use this i actually get some use out of this i think it's a great travel palette i don't leave my house but you know if you do travel i definitely think that it would be a great travel palette as with this one because i feel like this one would give you a little bit more diversity in the fact that you get the blush the bronzer the highlight and a couple of more shimmer looks. Now this palette definitely won't go as deep as the original because the original has like a black and a gray and things like that. So this one would definitely be a really good palette for um, work and you know, just casual, you know, Sunday fun day, nothing too extreme. Let's go ahead and swatch a couple. That's the blush. Let's swatch the highlight. Let's just swatch all three uh, powder products. I actually am um, I actually kind of enjoy the swatches of those first three I don't like super pigmented blushes but I definitely think that it is pigmented enough and Tarte blushes are known to be like a little bit more firmly pressed in the pan but on the cheeks they will give you color for days I'm actually wearing the Tarte blush in risque today I believe it is let's go ahead and swatch a couple of the shadows I mean, it looks promising. I think that I might actually like this more than the first one. I don't like the fact that the packaging is the same. Like, I feel like they could have changed the packaging or at least changed the, if you're gonna keep the same packaging, at least change the color maybe of the packaging. I don't know, that bugs me, I don't like that. But let me know down below if, if you like the idea of pitting original palettes against like the first palettes, especially because of the Rock Pro 4 is coming out. It just like, it doesn't end, you guys. So let's go, we've got some more products. I'm just gonna show all of these at one time to kind of condense the channel, or condense this a little bit. I was living, breathing, dying, gasping for air when this collection came out and I knew that I had to have it. And I do plan on doing a full review on this. So uh, <coughs> this is the Smashbox and Velada collaboration. This is one of the like most aesthetically pleasing collaborations that I have ever seen. Um, so let me go, go ahead and tell you what I picked up and I picked up the Smashbox. I guess I don't need to say that every time, but this is the Petal Metal Shimmer Spray. And I basically thought that, um, this was going to be pretty much like the primer water, but kind of the way that Mac made the fix plus just with a little bit of shimmer. I actually have found out that that is not the case. I believe that this is meant to be used pre like pre makeup or on the body like it's not meant to be used like as a setting spray or as a primer if I remember correctly. And I just live and breathe like it just looks so nice. I will say I will go ahead and say that I do think that this packaging or this this stuff is kind of expensive. One of the items you guys I wanted to return the second that I saw it because that was like $32 for this. Oh no. But anyways, let me go ahead and show the packaging so you guys can kind of see. So I'll go ahead and show you the item that I wanted to return the second, the second I saw it because this was $32. The only reason I didn't return it is because I actually went online and read reviews and people actually were giving this really, really good reviews. And because I also want to review it for you guys. This is the Gold Glitz Petal Metal Shimmer Drops. And it is tiny and I don't care, you know, the little goes a long way, like $32. Let's let that sink in for a second. I mean, it looks really pretty. It says a shake well before use. Um, I do think that this is a little bit will go a long way situation. Like I really do think so. 
Um, let's see what this says. It's for. It says Vlada loves using the shimmer potion as a highlighter or as a lip and cheek topper that gives you an extreme metallic finish. Stunning, buildable shimmer. And it says shake well before use. I was going to go ahead and save this for the first impressions, but let's go ahead and try it out. It is a little bit on the sticky side. Can you guys see that? I mean, it definitely has a little bit of, there definitely is a little bit of glitter. I feel like there's, it's mostly glitter and there's not really a whole lot of base to it once it dries down, if that makes sense. Um, I'll be interested to try it out. Again, the only reason I kept it is because the reviews on it were actually like good. Um, the next thing that I picked up, I only picked up one of the highlighters. Let me know down below if you would like to hear me talk about um, both of them. I know there's, I think there's two from, Sephora. I think there's two that are sold at both Ulta and Sephora and then there's one that's a Sephora exclusive. Um, I picked up this one and the packaging you guys. I'm sorry. I picked up Rosematic and this is what it looks like and I really enjoyed Casey Holmes' highlighter collaboration with <coughs> Smashbox so I decided to go ahead and pick this up. I don't think that this is the one that I intended to buy and that's what it looks like. I mean the detail is just amazing it has the dripping um, I don't know if you guys can see it but it has like the dripping like lip art kind of situation that she does and it just looks so pretty let's go ahead and swatch this isn't the one that I meant to buy so I might have to pick up the other one that is definitely gonna be more of a blush topper for me because that is too dark for a highlight this isn't the one that I wanted um, but it's okay um, I definitely will this would be really pretty on a little bit of a deeper, more tan skin, um, but for me, it's not gonna work as a highlight. Maybe if I sheer it out enough, I just don't think so, but I think it will make a really, really pretty blush topper. And then the last thing, we are still not done, you guys. Oh my gosh, like there's still more in here. I'm at the point where I'm like, I don't think I would care about the rest, so we might just be like, whatever. The last thing that I picked up from the collection is the Cover Shot, are they still called? Yes, the Cover Shot Petal Metal Eyeshadow Palette. And I have one of the original ones, the Ablaze, and I actually thoroughly enjoyed those. It's so tiny that I don't know where it is right now, but I actually really did like that palette. Um, let's go ahead and open this guy up so you guys can see it. This is what it looks like. And it should, oh yeah, it does. Let's see, I'm trying to check in the monitor to see if you guys can see it. Do you guys see the, like, the drip? Can you see it? Hopefully you can. But anyways, there's the packaging a little closer up. I think you guys can tell, yeah. And that is what it looks like on the inside. So you get you get eight shades in total and it looks like they're all shimmer except for the two on the end, um, which is gonna be a really good transition shade and this is gonna be like a good deepening shade. I will admit that I do wish that there was one more matte shade in here. Let's go ahead and swatch a couple. They feel really nice. Let's go ahead and swatch the matte. I mean, they feel super buttery. Oh yeah, they feel, okay, the matte's not really wowing me. Oh, you know why? Because I put that glitter there. Let's swatch it right there. Okay, I'm still not that impressed with the matte. It does swatch a little bit on the patchy, patchy side and not opaque, but the shimmer shades right here look amazing and they felt so I wanted to say substantial. Does, can an eyeshadow feel substantial or am I just like trying to sound fancier than what it needed to be? Anyways, we're going to go with it. It felt substantial. Like it felt like it was going to stick and adhere to the eye. They felt super good, like super creamy, super buttery. I'm into it. Now, the next thing that I picked up, because this went on sale during Ulta, on Ulta as well, and I love, love, love the five pan dose of color eyeshadow palettes. This went on sale for, I believe, 50% off. So I decided to go ahead and pick it up because I had been impressed with their um, formulation of eyeshadows, but the five pan palettes are always only matte. So I decided to go ahead and get this. Now I will admit I have not touched it, I haven't played with it yet or tested it out, um, but I do feel like this, I don't like the packaging at all. I feel like it's a ton of wasted space and I understand that it's like, what is it called, hidden treasure, so maybe it's supposed to be like a treasure map or I don't know, I don't like the packaging at all. Um, but I think that it's a good ar array of colors and I definitely think that I probably own this palette about 57 times, but I do have a video coming up as well. I actually recorded it a long time ago 
probably in November or December and I never posted it because that's around the time where my hiatus took place. I'm actually gonna go ahead and refilm it because um, I have, I'm just gonna refilm it, but basically talking about the reasons why I buy makeup um, that I know that I'm not gonna use. And I'm saying that as I'm showing this product, so there you go. Um, but I mean, it looks really promising. It definitely looks like a palette that I was used every single day. It kind of bothers me, I'm not gonna lie. I don't like the layout. Uh, this is an older palette. So I wanna say that this was their first palette release, if I'm not mistaken. And it probably went 50% off because they're no longer gonna be selling it. But let's go ahead and swatch a couple. Okay, those definitely feel a little more gritty, but that pigment, that actually looks like the color in the Smashbox palette, I'm not gonna lie. Yeah, these definitely feel like they have a little bit more grit to them. Oop, yep, we're losing makeup. So that is what those guys look like. I mean, they swatch pretty good. They don't feel the best in the pan themselves, but a swatch only tells you half the story. A swatch definitely does not tell you the whole thing. So now we're almost done. If you have made it to the end, like pretty much where we are right now in this video, leave like a tap dancing girl emoji in the comments below because I would be interested because like my videos when I first started posting haul videos would always be like 30, 40 minutes long and some people were like, stop, which is why I started splitting them up all the time. And then some people were like, give me more. So honey, today you got more. So give me a dancing spicy girl emoji if you are still here. The, we're just literally just gonna like talk about these so fast, like it's gonna be ridiculous. Um, I decided to go ahead and pick up, this was during Ulta 21 Days of Beauty as well, and this went for 50% off. I love all of the Benefit products. I have never tried their a brow setter. So I decided to go ahead and pick this up. Let me go ahead and show you. I'm dropping more stuff. I was gonna be lazy and just show you the packaging and keep it moving, but we've gotta be a good YouTuber, okay? So, this is one of the few things from the Benefit uh, brow product line that I have not tried. This is what the packaging itself looks like. And I believe it was Puffin's wife who talks about this, who says it's actually like her favorite uh, brow setter. I've been so obsessed with her recently. I think she's stunningly beautiful and like I wish I could be like cool and edgy and just as amazing as she is. Um, but let's move on. I picked up the Bye Bye Pores. Um, this also, I'm kind of letting you guys know what I got for the discount and what I didn't because some of the stuff I paid full price for, some of it was on sale. So this is the Bye Bye Pores by It Cosmetics and this is the pressed, ooh, and this is the pressed version. Um, I have tried the powder version like a long, long, long time ago, but I've never tried the, uh, the pressed version. And now Kathleen Light said that this actually was one of her favorites for pores until the Kat Von D uh, powder, blotting powder, which is actually not meant for pores. I love that powder. That powder lives in my purse. Um, so I decided to go ahead and get this powder, especially because it was on sale, and test out if this was actually really good for pores. Um, and then since I carry the Kat Von D one in my purse all the time, I figured that I could keep this one on my vanity. Let's go ahead and see. It comes off like it has a little bit of like a yellow tint. I've got a little shininess around my nose. Let's see what happens. I immediately regret it doing that. It brought out the dry patches in my nose. Okay, let me stop while I'm ahead because now my nose looks kind of dry. So first impression, not so good. There we go. Okay, it brushed off pretty easily. I actually kind of like the packaging on this. It has like that soft, almost soft touch, like nars e type situation happening. So I'm into it and I will let you guys know. Um, where are we at now? Uh, last three things. I purchased another item from Dose of Colors. I purchased one of their Ideal Duos. I'm so happy that Dose of Colors is in Sephora Ulta now as well because I always see people using them on Instagram and I always wanted to test everything out but I just, uh, for some reason, I never really feel comfortable purchasing directly from indie brand websites. I don't know why, I think it's silly. Um, I did actually purchase the Desi Katie collection from there because that was not an option. Um, but this is the, sh uh, the shade Shell. And it basically has, let me see. I think, yeah, this twist off and you get like the loose, oops, you can't see over the box. You get the loose pigment on the bottom and then on the top you get the actual base 
and I know a lot of brands are doing this now I think I've heard a lot of people talk about uh, Tom Ford does this and I want to say one other brand if I'm not mistaken um, but this just looks like a really beautiful I swatched all the colors in the store and this looked like one that I would actually wear every single day so I <clears throat> so I decided to go ahead and pick it up that was actually a hot buy and the hot buy is where the product is on sale the entire term of the sale like so for the full 21 days and then the last two things that I picked up were and if you guys watch my hauls like really 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 watch my hauls unless it's like kits um like Sephora favorites kits or like the holiday kits and things like that I don't really buy lip products very often I'm wearing a gloss right now I'm not wearing any other lip product and as much as I've talked the gloss is probably worn off so I picked up two of the Tarte um quick dry matte lip paints oh okay both of these are actually the quick dry which I've actually heard I thought I was getting the other one um because I've actually heard that this formulation is a little like crusty but I picked up two and I swatched a bunch of them and these are the two that I decided to go with um I don't really hear people talk about the quick dry ones anymore a lot of people still talk about like the glossy ones and these are the two that I picked up some more of like a nudie shade um like a pinky nude and more of like a mauve -y. so festival is the first one we'll swatch and I swear that this is a lip color that I buy in like every single lip color that I own so that was festival there and then we have obsessed and I think I prefer this color it's more of like a fall time color but it's kind of like my jam I love colors like that yeah. that is everything from my Ulta 21 days of beauty slash just whole Ulta haul in general um now that I'm pulled everything out I was like even at 50% off girl you still spend a pretty decent amount of money like ooh. but I bought so many products that I know that I'm gonna use that are tried and true that will not go to use that will or that will go to use that will not go to waste um they're my favorite products they're products that I always recommend to you guys and tell you to give a chance um so anyways you guys this video is already long enough please 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 if you made it to the end of this video and you are not subscribed to my channel please go ahead and hit that subscribe button down below if you are a tried and true a subby thank you guys for sticking it out to the end with me i really really appreciate it i know this video was long go ahead and give it a thumbs up before you head out as well and i will see you in the next video bye guys